consider one branch if you have two branches from Steve Jobs. Dr. don't get lost <coughs> just in case it never happened with me but just in case somebody got lost you need to take a cab towards Bethlehem oh. to the Hotel St. Gabriel oh, okay because it's a big city it's a very busy city if somebody left the group and got lost so you, you need to know the name of the hotel and which city. Do you all know the name of the hotel? Yes. Yeah, we're all Where? Yeah. Bethlehem. Bethlehem. I never lost anyone, but this is this is the law. How about the plate number? What color? No problem. When you go out, <laughs> tell them you're going to Bethlehem. Taxi driver will let you know if he can go or not. Okay. Okay. We're not gonna do that. Yeah, we'll go. It's a nice thing to have. So, if you don't want to cross, that's fine. But most of the Catholic groups carry cross. And four or six people, four people, every station or four, four people carry it. Then we exchange every station, four people or so. Sounds good? It's uh, one of the highlights of the tour. The Holy Sepulchre. The Via Dolorosa. This is the holiest place for us. This is the highlight of the tour. So let's focus and concentrate on the praying, on the procession of the Via Dolorosa. And uh, uh, 
great privilege we have mass at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Okay. Holy Sepulchre means holy too. All right. Now, there will be many vendors, many peddlers. Keep single dollars in one of your pockets. You may buy the pamphlet of the Via Dolorosa for one dollar. Don't open your purses and wallets in front of everybody. Some people may tell you Johnny is my brother, my cousin, my... I don't know what. This is a trick to enter their shop. There are good places. There are many places that do sell fake products. So, please, no comments, don't say no shopping, don't say our guide, our driver, our tour leader, and don't tell one another, don't, don't buy, okay? They will be really very aggressive. Thank you, we'll be back, because they will ask you to buy and enter their shops. They might be very pushy sometimes. Sometimes might be very smoothly. <coughs> and uh, that's why my advice is if anybody entered the shop while we were walking the procession and lost the way, so you need to know the hotel, which city, and in case somebody got lost, meeting point would be the hotel. I never lost anyone in the old city, but this is the law, yeah. how I should present it to you, okay? Just yes, in case, how much the taxi fare? Justin, <laughs> he's planning to get lost. <laughs> 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 yes, it's uh, 40 $50. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, no way. No way. You better not get lost. No, don't get lost. Uh, you said we'll need about $4 for the uh, checkout. Uh, I think, yeah, you don't, you don't pay now. He will come to the hotel. Now he will take pictures. Oh, oh so we don't keep that out of our purse. Okay, yeah, then they'll right. come to the hotel. Oh. Okay. Uh, we may have a group picture. That's, you need, uh, I think, $7 uh, at the Holy Sepulchre, at the holiest place. So, but, uh, yeah, we'll be in the church, so. Yeah. That would be a safe place. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Well, first things first. Um, Miss Dan phoned last night, and he wanted to know if everybody was happy, excited, and all right. Yes. What did I say? Yes. Yes. You got it right. So um, he sends his greetings to everybody and his best wishes for the rest of the, the pilgrimage. The second thing, um, yes, we're going into Jerusalem. And uh, from a religious faith <laughs> point of view, uh, we have been told so often these days how Jerusalem uh, was and is central for three uh, monotheistic religions. Uh, the Hebrew religion, the Christian, and the Muslim religion. They develop in different times, but they've got a common, a common point, which is uh, the city of Zion as the center uh, identified and felt as a place where God manifests himself and uh, where he communicates himself to, to his people. We the Christians uh, have inherited a great amount of our religious dimension and uh, values uh, from, um, from our brothers and sisters, the Jewish people. And uh, what we call in a man manner not right, the Old Testament, the so-called Hebrew Bible or the scripture uh, presents to us all the wishes and the anxiety of the people of Israel coming to Jerusalem to such an extent that they had to come 
uh, several times, at least once a year, for different rituals. Uh, there's one psalm, you know, the psalms, how many are the psalms? How many? Two. We've got different versions, 150, 250, what is, what is the final number? 150. It's very easy. 150 Psalms. And amongst them, there are the so-called Psalms of Ascension, which the pilgrims, the pilgrims coming to Jerusalem would pray and sing as they were approaching or they were already inside the Mount Zion, inside, inside the, the center of the town, which was the temple. And one of them uh, is very fitting for us today. Well, yesterday we came to Jerusalem as well. Uh, we could have said it yesterday, uh, but we're saying it now. Uh, and perhaps if you want, uh, then you can go and read it uh, with uh, the appropriate spirit. It was a sound that, as I said, the pilgrims would pray as they approached and entered the holy city. It's Psalm 122. And it goes this way. I rejoiced when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem built as a city, walled round about. Here the tribes have come, the tribes of the Lord. As it was decreed for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, here are the thrones of justice, the thrones of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, may those who love you prosper. May peace be within your ramparts, prosperity within your towers. For family and friends, I say, may peace be yours. For the house of the Lord, our God, I pray, may blessings be yours. Amen. It's one of the most beautiful prayers uh, that we can say, uh, not only coming into Jerusalem, but when we enter a church and have a time of our own, indeed, to express this a feeling of anxiety and rejoicing for being at the presence of the Lord. Particularly that uh, verse number two, I mean number one and number two, I rejoiced when they told me, let us go up to the house of the Lord. And then as the pilgrim was crossing the gates, he would say, and now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. So we ourselves are in the same position. Now our feet are standing, for some of us, for the first time within the gates of Jerusalem. And so we welcome all the heritage that we receive from uh, our ancestors in the faith, the children of Abraham, and we commit ourselves to be followers of the risen Lord, Jesus the Messiah. Have a blessed day and enjoy it all. Thank you. Thank you.